I want to talk about another service that we offer here at the shop that's called an exterior body resale. You know, what is an exterior body resale, right? So every coach, uh, their, you know, every window, every molding, every joint, every seam, and I'm talking about the four sides of the body. So I'm not talking about anything to do with the roof. You know, if you look closely, you're going to see at some point there was some type of sealant applied to certain areas, if not the whole coach. Uh, now, this depends upon the manufacturer because it's very time consuming to wipe down, secure, and seal every single thing on that unit. So most cases when the manufacturers are sealing them, again, it's during production. Let's get it done quick. Let's get it done fast. It's production line. We got another coach right behind it to do the same thing on. So uh, example say is a window. A lot of times they won't reseal around the whole window. They'll just do what's called a cap seal, just the top edge and to try to help deflect the water. Or if you look at certain sidewall moldings, they'll seal the whole sidewall molding. Uh, sometimes they'll seal it around the entry doors, but you know, a lot of times they won't seal all the lights or all the way around something or the moldings or the hatches and the latches or the catches or the handles. There's a ton of things on these coaches that need to be sealed. Uh, awnings, awning rails, awning mounts, I mean, you name it. So when we're recommending to you to do a body reseal, we're going to scrape everything off that's presently there. We're going to go back and if anything that we see or we think that's loose, we're going to try to attempt to tighten it up or add additional screws or fasteners or staples or whatever is required to, to get it secure. And then we're going to go back and reseal any open or penetration on that unit. And again, that's to try to deflect and block out the water from getting in. So if you look at some of my articles and stuff, I go into more details on it. I show you all kinds of pictures and areas and what products we use and whatnot. Uh, but you're taking a low grade body solvent cleaner and you're, you know, applying it to the sealant that's there. You're scraping that off, which if we've, if you've all done some type of a silicone, you know, it makes a nasty sticky mess. So you're scraping, 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 wiping, 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 and trying to get that surface as clean as possible before you go back and conceal it. Again, this is a topical. So it's designed to deflect the water and help shield it and keep it from getting in. So, uh, you know, if you're a police officer, I tell you, you know, hey, you don't have to wear a bulletproof vest, right? You get shot, you get shot. And uh, basically that's where you're at if your coach doesn't have silicone on it um, or sealant. Uh, by putting on that bulletproof vest, if you get shot, it's not going to do nothing. It's going to bing and deflect off of you, right? Some moldings behind them, there's nothing. There's nothing at all behind them. So if that topical silicone that you're looking at is dried out, shrunk, cracked, separated, coming loose, guess what? Water's getting into your coach. It's damaging it. You're not seeing it at that time. Sooner or later, you will. Um, so look at the hundreds of thousands of pictures that we have on social media and a lot of our YouTube videos, and you'll see all the water damage we occur. And this is in California. This is in Lodi. It does not rain that much. We do get coaches that come from all over. We get units that come in from Washington, from out of state, from further away where they do have more of a wet or snowy weather. And the damage is extreme. So we do a lot of stuff that the dealerships won't do. You know, dealership doesn't want to do all this dry rot work and water damage. You know, sir, it's total. You need a new one. That one's not worth anything to us, right? So, so many times we've had to take those coaches and the owners say, you know what, I can afford to fix and repair what damage has happened, but I'm not going to go buy another new one. Again, let's keep them sealed up. Let's keep you traveling safe and looking good. Thanks so much for watching.